Ugh, <sighs> finally. I thought that taxi driver was gonna cart us around half of California before dropping us off at the hotel. Man, I am spent. Why is it that flying is so exhausting when all you do is just sit around? I swear, the moment we get into our room, I'm just gonna drop dead on the bed. <laughs> huh? Yeah, our room. Oh, excellent. There's nobody else in front of us at the front desk. Oh, hi. Um, good evening. We, uh, have a reservation for... Oh, yep, yeah, that's us. Thank you very much. Man, finally. Gosh, I can't wait to get to our room. Yeah, just one key card. Why? Yeah, I booked only one room. We're traveling on a budget, remember? Oh, please, don't give me that. How long have we known each other now? We've been working on this startup since we finished college. Now, oh, come on. Oh, Wait, you don't have to help me with my suitcase. <laughs> That's awfully nice of you, but I'm a big, strong girl, and I... <sighs> okay. <laughs> a little help would be much appreciated. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Wait, it's not too far. Let's see, 101, 102, oh, there it is, 103, that's us. Hey, this looks nice. Thanks again for helping me with my suitcase. Well, what do you think? Hey, what is it? You look a bit disheartened. I thought this room looked rather nice. I mean, as nice as hotel rooms can be, with their generic art prints on the wall and the kind of anonymous atmosphere and... Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Now that you mention it, there's only one bed in this room. Weird. I could have sworn I booked a two-bedroom. Well, it'll be fine. We can make it work. And it's only going to be for a couple of nights anyway, right? Is it okay if I use the shower first? I'm feeling a little, um, trying to think of a word that won't make it sound disgusting, really. Anyways, I've been wearing these clothes for way too long, so I'll just... Okay, great. Thank you. <sighs> this feels amazing. This is just what I needed. I don't know who invented the shower, but the man should really get the Nobel Prize. I mean, who needs the theory of relativity, really? Or the moon landing or whatever? The shower had a way bigger impact on the betterment of mankind, if you ask me. Uh, that was incredible. Hey, you already unpacked your stuff? Dude, stop it. You're making me look like a slob. Go on. 
Hop in so I can get dressed while you're in the shower. Oh, and what are you turning so red for? Really, you look like a boiled lobster right now. Come on, you've seen me in a bikini. Last summer, remember? You should be able to handle seeing me wrapped up in a towel. <laughs> now chop chop, get in the shower. I want to towel myself off and get dressed. Oh, um, one more thing. They only had one towel in the bathroom, so I guess we're gonna have to share this one. It's still moderately dry, so it'll be fine, I think. I'll come in and put it on the towel rack, okay? Don't worry, I won't look. Oh, you're done? Excellent. I guess I should go to the bathroom now so you can get dressed, huh? Ugh, but I'm so comfy right now. I don't want to get up. Is it okay if I just promise not to peek? I can barely keep my eyes open anyway. Hmm? Hey, what is it? You all right? Yeah, this is all I'm gonna wear for the night. Why? I always dress lightly for sleep. Do you expect me to put on my business suit to catch some Z's? Oh, and why are you blushing again? What? No, I'm not peeking. I can hear you blush. Yes, I can. Hey, what's taking you so long? Are you dressed yet? Can I open my eyes again? Hey, dude, what's up? You look kind of dejected. What is it? Are you worried because of our presentation tomorrow? Come on, we've been through this like a million times. We could do this presentation in our sleep. We're gonna blow their minds, buddy. Right out of the back of their heads. Hmm? That's not it. Then what is it? Yeah, there's no couch in this room. It is a really small hotel room, for sure. I should probably have gotten suspicious when it was so cheap, I guess. Sorry? Why would you ask room service for an extra bed sheet? What? No, you are not sleeping on the floor. Are you crazy? I know San Francisco is warm this time of year, but for real, what's gotten into you? Huh? No, you're not sleeping in that chair either. Seriously, I'm getting back pain from merely looking at that thing. I need you in peak form for the conference tomorrow. A good first impression is half of the battle. Do you think anyone is going to buy into our startup if you shuffle around like a zombie with bags under your eyes and twisted from an aching spine? I'm sorry? No. Of course I'm not sleeping on the floor either. Wait, you wouldn't suggest that I should... No? Good. <laughs> you got me worrying there for a moment, dude. 
What do you mean, then where are you gonna sleep? Come on, silly. Stop being such a dork. This bed is big enough for the both of us. <laughs> oh, that face of yours. Don't worry. I don't bite. I don't snore. I don't wildly thrash out in my sleep. And I'm not going to turn into a werewolf at full moon and devour you either. You've got absolutely nothing to worry about, buddy. There's no need to be so bloody awkward. For real now, you can either get in here with me, or you can keep pondering your options. Q, there are none. And get in here with me in half an hour anyways. All you're gonna accomplish is depriving yourself of a half hour of sleep. You know we have to get up early tomorrow, right? <laughs> so come on. Stop being so stubborn and come to bed already. Oh, wow. You would rather sleep on the floor than share a bed with me. Well, thank you. It's nice to know you hold me in such high regard. <laughs> That's not it. What? Me? Why should I have any problems with sharing a bed with you? Uh, yeah. I know you're a guy. I'm a big girl. I know about the birds and the bees already. Yeah, I really am okay with it. I suggested it, after all. Now, just get in here already, or I'll, um, I'll unplug your phone charger. I would. You know me. I can be cruel if I need to be. <laughs> Finally. You're that scared of having to spend a day with an uncharged phone, huh? Hey, what are you doing? Boy, if you keep balancing on the outmost edge of the bed like that, you're gonna fall off in the middle of the night. Just come a bit closer. You afraid I'm gonna bite you or something? <laughs> so what if we touch during the night? It's not like you'll spontaneously burst into flames if you casually brush against my arm or something. Here, See? I touched you and nothing bad happened. See? Again. Hey, dude, wow. Relax. Don't forget to breathe. I just touched your chest. It's fine. You'll survive it. Just stop making a fuss already. We need to get up early tomorrow. We should try to get some shut-eye now. Do <sighs> you have enough of the blanket? I don't want to be the one to hog too much of it. That's such a stupid cliché. The girl stealing her man's blanket. <laughs> You're good? Okay, then. Good night. Hey, hold still. Stop struggling. Yeah, I'm hugging you. I need something to snuggle when I go to sleep. Back at home, I have a side sleeping pillow, but here, you'll just have to do. Could you please stop pulling away? You'll fall out of the bed. <laughs> Um, hey, could you maybe, like, raise your upper body for a moment so I could get my other arm under it? I want to wrap both my arms around you. It just feels kind of weird when I can hug you with one arm only and have to keep this other one sort of 
awkwardly folded like this. Plus, I have to hold you or else you'll probably pull away again and fall off the bed for real. <sighs> Seriously, dude? Why are you making so much of a fuss about this anyway? It's just some cuddles, that's all. I do this with my girlfriends all the time. You guys are being way too uptight about this stuff. Hey, but you're okay with it when I hug you during the day. Okay, it makes you kind of flustered, but you like it. Er, don't you? See? So how is this any different? Hugging during the day? Totally fine. Hugging at night? End of the world. I'd rather sleep on the floor. What sort of bullcrap logic is that? Now stop making a fuss already. I'm trying to catch some sleep. Um... Hey. Hey, are you still awake? Sorry, but could you just... Um... Could you perchance turn around? Your back isn't snuggly enough. No offense buddy, but would it be okay if instead I just nuzzle into your chest? Ah, thank you. This is much better. You're even cozier than my side sleeping pillow. We should do this more often, really. <laughs> Huh? Well, I'm playing with your hair. Now that I have my hands behind your back, I thought I may as well. Don't you like it? You know, you could play with my hair as well, if you want. I would actually greatly appreciate that, really. It would probably help me fall asleep. And you look so tense holding your arms at your side like that. Really, it's okay. You can touch me. I'm touching you after all. What do you mean, what am I doing? You're making it sound like I was hurting you or something. I'm trying to make you feel good, silly. I even specifically booked a single bedroom to trick you into snuggling with me. Huh? Why? Well, first, because I can't sleep without something to snuggle. And secondly, because I have a crush on you. What? Yeah, I have a crush on you. Ever since we went to college, actually. <sighs> Come on, I'm tired. Can't we talk about this tomorrow? Wait, we've got to give our presentation tomorrow. Can we talk about this tomorrow after the conference? <sighs> For real now? We gotta get up early tomorrow. We should really try and catch some sleep. Good night, honey. Hmm? Yeah, I kissed you. I thought I already told you that I have a crush on you anyway, so... Might as well. Didn't you like it? You're blushing again. Yes, you are. And it's super cute. Yeah, I know it's dark. 
I don't need to see you, I can hear you blush, remember? Come on now, honey. Close those gorgeous eyes of yours and hug me a bit more tightly. I want all your snuggles. We'll make a splash together at the conference tomorrow and then we'll talk about this in quiet. But for now, let's go to sleep.